Hi, I'm Amy Griesack with North 40 and today we're going to talk about how to fertilize your lawn in the springtime. Things are really popping as the weather warms up and we're all anxious to get out and get our garden and our lawn started for the season, but it's good to be a little patient. Even though the grass is starting to green up, when you're fertilizing your lawn in the springtime, you want to wait at least until you've mowed once, preferably twice, to be able to give those roots a good chance to get established and really create strong plants before you encourage the growth. Now, when you're looking for a fertilizer in the spring, you want something with a higher nitrogen content and a little bit on the tail end and that potassium to be able to give those roots what they need as well. So one possible fertilizer is the Scott's Turf Builder. It has 32 nitrogen. So when you're looking at the numbers on a fertilizer, you know, N, P, and K, N is the first one, that's nitrogen. So you want a, a higher number on that end because you want to give those plants what they need to really green up and really start growing. The second number is for phosphorus, which is really good for stem and root development. But we also, and so that one's not so important this time of the year, but we do want a little bit with the potassium, with the K in that equation, to be able to give those roots some good support. So when you're picking your fertilizer, like I said, you wait until you mow once or twice, and then follow the label directions to figure out how much you need to apply. Because just like the three little bears, if you do too little, it's not gonna give your lawn enough food to grow. If you do too much, you can burn it, or you can also promote some growth that is more susceptible to disease and other issues. But when you apply it just right, that's when you get a really nice, green, healthy lawn. And then the final little part of when you are fertilizing, after you apply it, make sure it's gonna be watered within the next few hours to prevent burning. Because with the higher nitrogen content, it's also a little bit more susceptible to be a little hard on those new leaves. And since we can't always depend on the weather, just plan on turning those sprinklers on or getting the sprinklers out. Make sure it's well watered and you're gonna be all set for the season. So if you need more information on how to take care of your lawn, visit any of the North 40 Outfitters locations or stop by the website north40.com.